Welcome. Today, we're going to do some pie crust. This can be used for any number of fruit pies and pecan pies and anything you need a pastry crust for. So the ingredients are relatively simple. So we have some all-purpose flour. We have a quarter teaspoon of salt. We have a tablespoon of sugar. Right. We have half a cup of cold, a very important, cold diced butter. Put that in there. Okay. And then we have a little bit of ice and water. Very, very important, it's cold. All right, so we're gonna start by using our pastry blender. We're gonna get our butter all mixed into the flour here. We're going to blend it until it looks like coarse crumbs. Maybe not quite that much, maybe like really small peas, maybe. All right, we want to keep the butter hard, but small and mix it in really well. Okay, so it should look about like that before we start adding some water. So we're gonna add just a little bit of water. And mix. Okay, so it's gonna look kind of dry, something like that. But we're gonna take it out of this bowl and put it on some plastic. All right, so let's put this on some plastic. Fry. Still somewhat dry, not totally. There's a little bit of moisture still here. It's okay. Because we don't want the butter to melt, we're gonna wrap this up in plastic wrap. In a nice, tight little ball. That's gonna go into the fridge for about four hours. We'll pull it out and see how it looks then. Okay, so for the apple pie filling that we're gonna make, we have about two ounces of butter and four cups of peeled cored apples. So we have a saucepan here. We're going to put the butter into the saucepan and we're gonna heat it up and melt it, and then we're gonna add our apples. So we have melted butter. We put our apples in there. We're gonna stir this around a bit, and then we'll add our cinnamon, salt, nutmeg, juice of one lemon, sugar, cornstarch, and water. All right, so we sauteed it a little bit. We're gonna put sugar, one third of a cup of cornstarch, a pinch of salt, tablespoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, juice of half a lemon, and then we're gonna put three cups 
of water and we're going to stir it around over medium heat. And we're going to let this cook. As you can see, we're, we're bubbling nicely here. Yeah, that's looking good. All right, we're gonna let this cook on low, medium low, until we've got it nice and thick and the apples are somewhat soft. Not all the way soft, but somewhat soft. Now we're done. See how nice and thick that is? Okay, it's gonna thicken up as it sits, but we can leave it sit right here and cool down. And then we'll be ready to put it in our pie. All right, it has been more than four hours, probably closer to about five. Uh, and we have our pastry crust. We have our filling cooled, right? We have some stuff here. We have parchment paper, roller pin, a big flat spatula to pick stuff up with, a, uh, a pizza wheel, pizza cutter, pastry cutter, and a pie tin that's been brushed with butter. Right? We're going to take one of our pastry crusts here and we'll put it onto the parchment paper. Put a little sprinkle of flour here. Flip it over. Another little sprinkle of flour here. All right, so I'm putting the flour on there so it doesn't stick. I'm also going to put a little bit of flour on the rolling pin. All right. Again, I'm just going to use the weight of the rolling pin to gently move the pie crust out in a circle. So I'm going to go in all different directions. Now I have big chunks of butter in my pastry crust. That's going to mean it's going to be nice and flaky, which is what we want for a pie crust. Nice and big and flaky. a little bit more flour here on the rolling pin. If you see it start to stick to the pastry, use a little bit more flour. All right. So we want the pastry crust that is bigger than our pie tin. Okay. You want to work kind of quickly so that the butter doesn't melt. We're going to try and flip it on top of here and see what happens. So we're going to take this pie tin, flip it upside down, slide this under the paper and everything, and then we're going to flip it like that. Okay. Hopefully. We can use the paper to kind of push it down. Okay. And then we just remove the paper very slowly. Okay. And now we can come up can make sure we fill in all of our spots. And what we're going to do is we're going to trim off 
our edges right here and put some filling in. Now we're going to get some more parchment paper and we're going to cut a lattice top for this. We're going to put some flour down. We're going to grab our crust. We're going to put some flour on top. This is going to be our top crust. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it into strips. I'll begin by squaring it up a bit. Okay, and then I'll cut some strips of pastry dough. back. I'm going to take a strip, very carefully a strip. I'm going to gently lay it over the pot. Okay, so the lattice technique, you have your strips and you just lay it like that. Then we're going to take this piece and we're going to lay it like that. And we'll take this piece and lay it like that. Okay. Now this one, we're going to do like that. And then this one's going to come back like that. And we're going to alternate our strips. back and forth. This is going to go over. Like that. This is going to go over like that. 
that. I can come like that. And this last piece here is going to go under, over, under. Like that. Like that. Okay. Now, we're going to take a fork and we're going to press our lattice strips into our bottom crust, make it nice and pretty. And then we will take an egg wash and put on top of that, and then it will go into the oven.